So we've talked about importing our images and finding them in browse. We've talked about editing our photographs and creating masks. Now let's talk about exporting our photographs and getting them into our own hands. So with this photo here, let's just do a quick edit and then we'll export the photograph in a few different ways. We'll start in the edit module and then I'll show you how to export inside of browse. So before we export this image, let's just give it a quick look using a preset. To access our presets in PhotoRAW, we're going to go down here to the bottom left and we're gonna select this icon to pull up our preset drawer. Now we have all of these different preset styles that we can apply to our image. I'm just gonna go in here to this pastel category and I'm gonna click on this icon here which will show me a lot larger thumbnail previews of these styles applied to my image. And I actually really like this P9, this sort of desaturated vintage look. So I'll just select that P9. And you can see it's applied that look to my shot. So if I go into the effects tab, it's added on different filters that are creating this look in my image. So now that we've created a look, let's export this photograph so that we can get it onto our device or onto our website or our social media. To export an image, we can either choose export here. This will pull up our export drawer where we have these different options for exporting our image. I'd recommend just focusing on photo size, file type, location, and then rename. With photo size, we can enable this if we want to change the size of the photo when it's exported. We then have file type. So if we want to change the file type on exporting, we can do that here. I typically stick with JPEG and SRGB but you can use any of these different file types or color profiles. We then have location. This is where we're exporting into. So this is very important as well. With this, we can choose a specific location here with this option, or we can choose a, the current folder that we're working on right now. We then have rename. So if we want to rename our photograph when we're exporting, we can do that here. I'm just going to reset this Let's choose a different modifier other than current name and let's choose text. And let's just choose export example. Then let's add another modifier and let's just add a serial number. And let's just put one. That way when it's exported, it's export example one. Once we're happy with the photograph, we can choose export and it will export that image directly into whatever folder that we've chosen. We then have quick export. So if we don't want to deal with any of these settings and just want to quickly export our photo, we can head up to file, quick export, or we can hold down shift, command, and S on our Mac keyboards. So quick export, if I choose this, it will open up my computer's finder or browser where I need to choose a location to export this image into, which I can also save as and rename a different name. Now let's just talk about exporting from browse. So let's go into our grid view mode by hitting G on our keyboards and let's go into that import test folder. So now we have this group of images and let's say we want to export these images. I can either export this entire group of photographs or I can export one. To export multiple, just select a photograph, hold down shift and then select the other ones in that group. Now we can do the same thing and head over to export pull up our export drawer, and now we can use these same settings to modify the export. 